Hey guys, it's Kelsey. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today I kind of wanted to just talk to you guys and catch up with you guys. It's been a minute since I posted here on this channel and I really apologize for that. I definitely didn't intend to do that. But as I'm sure a lot of you guys are experiencing, this past month, these past days have just been literally flying by. Maybe it's because I don't set an alarm anymore and my sleep schedule is messed up and I've been sleeping more hours than I've been awake. Um, I don't know, maybe just a thought. I really am kicking my butt into gear and we're getting back on a schedule. I am filming another video later today and I'm hoping that if you see this video on Thursday, we have the schedule intact because I'm planning on posting every Thursday and Sunday, roughly for the next few weeks. That's what I'm aiming for anyways. So if you see this on Thursday, you'll be seeing another video on Sunday and there'll be many more to come after that. Today I just wanted to talk to you guys about some of my favorites during this quarantine period. I wanted to share with you some of the products that have really been helping lift my mood. None of these things are obviously a necessity. I hope you guys are all doing as best as you can right now and I'm not telling you you need to go out and purchase any of these products but if you do have the means, if you're looking for something to, you know, uplift you and you need some inspiration, here are some things that you could try. I want to share with you guys the light of my life right now, which is my Nintendo Switch Lite. This thing has literally brought me so much joy. Like, so, so much joy. I couldn't even tell you. If you are around the same age as me, I am 23, you may have grown up playing the Nintendo DS and playing Animal Crossing. That was literally my shit growing up. Like me and my cousins at the lake would like lay on our bunk beds and like go to each other's islands and trade apples and cherries and it was just the highlight of our lives. And the fact that I can do that again now with my boyfriend during quarantine, it's just like no other to me. Honestly, it fills a void in my life that I didn't even know I was missing. So yeah, this is honestly made me so, so happy. And I've been trying to get Jaden addicted to Animal Crossing. He's like slowly getting there, but he'll just like never fully understand it like the way that I do, you know? So yeah, that's something that's really, really brought a lot of light to my life lately. If you guys are into Animal Crossing, maybe I'll insert a little um, island tour. I have only been playing for like maybe a week, so I have some stuff to still unlock. And I'm really focusing on rearranging my island. So it's kind of a construction zone right now but I'll show you what we have going on for those of you that are interested. Okay guys, welcome to my humble abode. This is my little house. So let's jump on into the home. <laughs> so right now I have a, oh, a two bedroom. I just got upgraded to the two bedroom. I'm gonna have to rearrange my furniture. But this is my uh, living space. A little bit, you know, eclectic, if you will. Then I have my little bedroom back here. So this is my little bedroom. It kind of needs, honestly, a lot of work. Uh, none of this stuff really goes together, but this is just what we're what we're working with right now. I really like this little rattan wardrobe. Isn't that adorable? So this is my little home base. I just got the Island Designer app on my phone like this morning, and I haven't had a chance to actually play around with it yet. But these are all my fruit trees. Very proud of this beautiful selection. Jaden has cherries on his island. I'm jealous. My native fruit is apples. My money trees. Look at that. This is my little flower patch where I like to, you know, breed butterflies and rare colors of flowers. Super good times. Look at this orange rose. Living for that. And then this is my little camper's den. Isn't this cute? I think this is really cute. But yeah, that's basically all we got on the island right now. Oh, did you see my little girl's outfit? Isn't she cute? She's got a little fisherman t-shirt on, got my glasses. She's looking good. We love her. So yeah, that's my little island tour. Definitely a work in progress. You know, we're just gonna sit down, drink our coffee, really think about the big plans we have for this island. Um, oh, maybe not. She's a busy girl. She's got places to go. Bye! <laughs> Okay, next, kind of going along in that category, if you will, would be my Kindle. Now, this is kind of funny because I am not currently reading a book, but it is a big goal of mine to start reading it very soon. I have the Jessica Simpson book on here. I've heard nothing but great things about it, and I'm really excited to read it. I had a Kindle growing up. I believe it was like all throughout high school. I used my Kindle, and I loved it, and then on a trip, it just somehow disappeared. I don't know if it got left on the plane in a hotel room or what, but it was just never seen 
again, so that was kind of unfortunate. But uh, this year for my birthday in January, I got another Kindle and I was really, really excited about it because I have been wanting one again. So I got one. I haven't started <laughs> a book yet since January, but now that finals are done and everything, I'm really looking forward to start reading the Jessica Simpson book. And it's really nice to have a Kindle right now as well since you can just buy whatever books you want right on the Kindle and it's immediately on here and they're cheaper than paperback books. So if you are a reader looking to get into reading, these aren't that expensive. I believe it was around a little over $100. I have the paper white version. That's the kind that I used to have. This is just a newer model and I really like it. There's also some other models that I think are a little bit more expensive, but this is what I went with. I really like the size of it. It really does feel as well that you're like reading off the page of a paper. It does not hurt your eyes like it does when you're reading off of a phone. It really really feels like you're reading off of a book, but it's just like super light and thin and yeah, 10 out of 10. Hopefully I will get this book started. Is up. And the next category that I want to talk to you guys about is things that I have been wearing, the clothes that I have been living in through this period, and that would be my Aritzia sweatsuits. So to start off with is the Aritzia Boyfriend sweatpants. If you guys have watched my videos for a while, you know I literally live in these when I'm at home. You've probably seen me wear them in like almost every single video, which is kind of embarrassing. Um, but yeah, I'm wearing them right now. Um, I have, I think, four or five pairs right now. Unfortunately, most of them are in the wash because, like I said, I wear them... Basically, they're the only pants that I wear. They really are. So... Sue me. But yeah, I have the gray ones, I have navy ones, I have a light green pair, I have a purple pair. It's really nice with Aritzia, they always are releasing new colors, and then you can get, like, matching hoodies. I have the green sweatpants that go with this green hoodie but this is also the boyfriend hoodie I have a couple colors of these we have the oversized crew which is really nice and the oversized collection from Aritzia is really really nice sizing I wear a size 2 in all of their oversized collection because their sizes are 1, 2, and 3 the one that I'm wearing now is the boyfriend crew the only difference is they have bigger sleeves and then a raw hem on the bottom. And then I have my Aritzia Boyfriend Zip Up. Again, this is in the size two. They're just honestly like such a staple. It's like the perfect thing to wear around the house. I like the zip up because you can leave it open if you get a little warm, but it's still like that really cozy vibe without having to wear like a full sweatsuit if it's getting, you know, hot. And another thing too that I've been getting from them is their tour t-shirts, which again is just like another oversized t-shirt. This one I just recently picked up and they're doing a lot of these in the same color as the sweatpants so it's nice to be able to get a matching set where it's like an oversized tee and some sweats if you don't want to do a sweater and sweat, you know, if you want to be hanging out, out in your backyard or whatever, this is always an option too. I actually just ended up picking this one up because I kind of wanted to put together a little workout outfit to do some at-home workouts. I'm trying to motivate myself to get into a better routine and, you know, work out be a little healthier if you will. So I picked up that shirt along with a couple other little things from Maritza which I guess I'll just show you. So I picked up this sports bra which is really nice. I picked up just a pair of the Atmosphere leggings which they're very similar to like the Align Lululemon pants. They're really really nice and stretchy. They're super like butter soft and smooth. And then I picked up another pair of their Atmosphere shorts. I already had this pair which is like the seven inch length but I just picked up another pair in the nine inch, which has got just a little bit longer leg. So yeah, I guess that was my little impromptu haul. Another thing that has just been making me feel a little bit more normal and put together during this time has been self tanning. This is actually the first time that I've like gotten fully ready, did my hair, did my makeup. I literally forgot what my face looked like with makeup on, but girl knows we don't like to waste that expensive foundation when we ain't got nowhere to go. So what I have been doing in the meantime is using a self tanner. I have both the foam and the spray from the Isles of Paradise. I use the shade dark because I feel like if I'm tanning, like I want to see it, you know? I really love both of these products. I use the spray on my face and I feel like this really helps me feel just like more put together it makes me feel like I have a little bit like almost like a tinted moisturizer on or something kind of evens out your skin tone makes me feel more put together so yeah if you are wanting to kind of you know get your little 
summer vibes happening in your house, in your backyard, I definitely recommend this self-tanner. And watch out for my next video on Sunday. I'm actually doing a self-tanner video where I'm going to compare a bunch of brands of self-tanner and apply them all to my body to show you all the best and the worst, the different shades, how long you should apply it, what's the different results going to show you. So that will be coming very soon. I'm actually very curious to see the results myself. I have quite a few different self-tanners on my hands and I picked up a couple other popular ones that I've seen people use uh, for this video and I'm really excited to share that with you guys. So watch out for that on Sunday. Another thing I wanted to talk about that has been helping me feel more at peace by having to stay indoors all the time is my plants. As you can see, we have a few plants in the background and honestly, they literally just make me feel a little bit outdoorsy, if you will. I know it sounds kind of silly, but just bringing that greenery into the house makes me feel a lot more refreshed. They say that it's supposed to clean your air as well, which I'll take it, you know, I'll definitely take whatever I can get. So I have a few plants in my bedroom and then I have a ton in the office, which I spend a lot of time in as well. And if you guys live in a basement like I do, I have plant lights, which I've talked about numerous times, but I'll have those linked in the description box down below. I know at least where I live, my local greenhouses and stuff are doing free at home deliveries. So hopefully that is something you can look into in your area if you are wanting to get some plants. But if you've never had a really much of a green thumb before, maybe now is your time to, you know, really bring out your inner gardener. I know I have that on my list of things that I want to do is actually like make a list of every type of plant that I have and its needs, you know, is, is it shade, part sun, how often does it really like to be watered. I have a pretty good idea of what my plants like. I've had them for a while now and they seem to be pretty happy but I know a few of them could be a little bit happier and I really want to give that to them because I feel like they deserve it for how happy they make me. I just really want to make them feel the same love. I have a list of like a lot of funny little things that I want to do during this period but I'm trying not to pressure myself into doing too much because I feel like a part of me is like oh my gosh now is the time to start all the businesses do all the things but it's also like oh my god this is crazy and I just want to crawl into bed and play Animal Crossing um, so I'm trying to you know reach that balance but I do have a list maybe I'll share with you guys some of the things <laughs> that I want to do if I you know have the time and I'm feeling in the mood to do so, maybe you'll want to do some of these things as well. So one of the things on my list is to make my own font. That is something I want to learn how to do. Just think it would be interesting, even if I do like one as like just my handwriting to start off with, kind of figure out the process and then try and make some other ones. I think it could be cool. I think it could be unique to, you know, have my own custom font to use my videos and stuff. I think that'd be something really cool. So that's on my list. Oh, another idea I had was to make a photo book for every year. So I just recently went through all of like my old photos on my old phone and I had them all on my computer in a folder but I just recently went through them and like categorized them by year and by like event. So I think I would like to do like a pretty photo book. I found this website called Artifact Uprising and I wanted to do like a little photo book for like 2016, 2017, 2018. You know, I think that would be like really cool to have and to be able to like pass on. They would be a little bit pricey for sure, but even if I like start planning out the books and then I could just save them and like purchase them whenever I feel like I could. That's an idea I have. Maybe you'd be interested in doing that too. Oh, I wanna make some of my own Instagram GIFs. You know, like the little GIFs you can put on your Instagram story. You can like make those yourself and submit them. So I wanna do that. Oh my gosh, I wanna make TikToks. <laughs> just like embarrassing to say out loud. Um, I don't know why it's embarrassing to say it loud. I feel like TikTok has a bad rap even though it's like really popular. But yeah, I want to just like get more creative and play around with TikTok. I think it's super fun. It's one of the apps that I really enjoy spending time on. It doesn't, I don't know, I always feel like it just makes, it boosts my mood where like sometimes other apps don't. We'll see, we'll see. I'll learn more about my houseplants and oh, another thing that I would love to do but bothers me how expensive it is, is the master classes. If you guys have heard of them, I get advertised them on Google all the time and on Instagram. I don't know if you guys do as well, but there's a website called Masterclass and they have classes by people that are like a master in their genre. So they have like Gordon Ramsay teaching cooking classes. They have Anna Wintour teaching classes on creativity and leadership, I believe. 
They have an interior designer that I'd be really interested in hearing from. They have Christina Aguilera teaching singing. Like they have so many crazy stuff. And I believe a pass to all of the classes is like $240. So it's definitely like not in the budget right now, but that's something that if at any point I feel like it is, that's something I'd really, really like to do. Or if that's something that's in your budget and you have the time, that would be really, really something interesting. But let's move on to what I have been watching slash listening to. And there are two major things in that category that I want to talk about. One being The Morning Toast. If you guys, again, aren't new around here, then you know I love The Morning Toast. I watch slash listen to their podcast every single morning, Monday to Friday. It is honestly the highlight of my day, but it's been a really important part of quarantine for me. And it's helped me remain a sense of normalcy in a way. This is just like, honestly, the highlight of my day is to have that like morning show to look forward to. So if you guys are looking for like some sort of structured morning show, it's really lighthearted. They talk about like celebrity news and just kind of reality TV and all that kind of good stuff. I <laughs> live for it, it's so funny. I would definitely, definitely recommend. And then another show that I've been watching is Love Island. I actually just started watching it during quarantine and I'm already done almost three seasons and if you guys are familiar with Love Island there are 50 episodes in every season and they are like an hour long so yeah it's it's so good it's on Hey You if you're in Canada I don't know if you're in the States or where it's on but if you're looking for like that kind of reality TV show kick definitely recommend. It's kind of like a mixture between The Bachelor and Big Brother if you've watched either of those shows, but that like literally doesn't do it any justice. That's just so good. And it's a British TV show as well. So they're like slang and their accents and everything is just like makes it so much better and I just couldn't recommend it enough. It's so funny. So I think that pretty much wraps up everything I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video. Just kind of wanted to touch base with you guys, let you know what I've been doing, what I've been wearing, what I've been thinking about, what I've been watching, I don't even know. But um, it's just been nice to catch up with you guys. I'm excited to film a lot more videos this week and really get into a better routine. I just got approved for the YouTube Partnership Program literally like, what is it, just a few days ago. So now I can have ads on my videos, which is so, so exciting. And I just can't thank you guys enough for the support on my channel. So yeah, you will see a lot more videos from me soon. I'm so excited. So I hope you guys have a safe rest of your week. I will see you guys again on Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. Give this a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already. I'll see you later. Bye. Press 9. To hear more options, press 0. What are you talking about?